What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. What happened at the end? You hit the ground. That was the Blanc. You hit the ground. B L O N K Blanc. As like that's very onomatopoeia for comic books. I liked right. it. I mean, it was just a funny <laughs> well, hardcore in, ending, man. In my mind, and I don't know what you were doing. I don't know if you I know don't what know you what were I doing, was doing. But in my man. mind, there were like little laser guns. Yeah, know? that's what that's what I heard. Like, yeah, yeah. Pew 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 pew. And All then right. it was Blanc. And then Blanc. <laughs> that was the big laser gun. Oh, oh, that's a that's a cannon. That's a laser cannon. You know that someone at one point had to decide, what does a laser gun sound like? And now we're all just like, oh, yeah, no, laser guns go pew, 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 pew. Because they don't exist. Someone wow. did have to decide. Oh, my gosh. I'm just saying, so laser Blanc guns, is- it, It's just in the- it Maybe could be, they Blanc. Laser guns don't exist. No. no. We, the, we liter- they don't actually make a real sound. I have never thought about that. Because I know the oh. sound that a laser gun yeah, makes. Goes, they could have been pew, anything. Pew, pew, yeah. pew, pew, pew. Yeah. Welcome into the Spitballers episode 284. <laughs> blowing my, that's, a, that's literally blowing my mind that like this is a made up sound that we all agree upon. But that doesn't, we it might not sound like that. Like if well, they ever make a laser I actually gun. Have a, I think I could argue against that. How so? They don't have to exist for that to be the right sound. No, I'm not saying it couldn't be. But well, we I don't know that it is. But I'm just saying there's lots of things in movies and television that get invented. And the first person to invent them makes up what they sound like. So you do set the precedent. Like somebody somewhere was the first person to think of a laser gun. And if they're the ones that decided pew, pew, pew was the sound, that's the sound, baby. Yeah. But I mean, I'm, the sound, if, if the first book about wizards and they decide what a, what a you know, a right. wand sounds like, they get to decide. But lasers are real and laser guns could become real. Like that and could we'll, actually be a real right. invention. Awesome. And then they're, the, and they the person, sound like this. Pew, 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 <laughs> pew, pew. Here, the current sound of a laser. Ready? Yeah. Mm, that's I'm right. doing it right they now. You know, because it's don't, light. <laughs> they don't hum. I mean, late, uh, uh, lightsabers. Lightsabers have a sound. They what? don't really exist. That's the same. Yeah, thing. but those will never exist. How do you know? It's How a, dare a, you? What do you mean? <laughs> l- l- yes, they will. Like a laser beam. People exists. have made uh, lightsabers. No, 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 not, no, not real no, lightsabers. No. Yeah, that cut stuff. No, yeah, no, yes but, they have. No, but, they have not. But yes, the people, they have. Look at Papa Josh. Josh. No, they, he's nodding. They have made like handheld sort of a lightsaber. It's not a lightsaber. It's not even close to a lightsaber. It's like it's more like a like a torch in your you're hand. Tell, like you're a telling torch. me that it's not even close to the thing that you don't know what it is and hasn't been invented. It has like a mass to it, and it can cut and it can go right through a metal door. I know what it can and can't do. Papa Josh, would you like to speak on this with any authority? You're both kind of right. Yeah, like, like super, <laughs> just, yeah, superheated light does not exist. But people have made lightsabers that look and kind of act like a lightsaber, but they usually use doesn't like doesn't thermal, look like it thermal heat and stuff like that. It doesn't look like it. The the it All taper right. it tapers off at the pew, top, pew, pew, pew. where a lightsaber will be the same exact color from bottom to top. The, you're talking about the hypothetical made up, never existed lightsaber, right? Yes. They have made plasma lightsabers. But now, if that's they the have, one I had seen. If they have made a plasma lightsaber, I need to hear it. I need to hear. <laughs> it does goes, it go? <laughs> or does nice. it like. Mike, do that again? <laughs> that's good. Nice. Or does is it more like fire? Does it sound more like. Oh, the crackle? <laughs> I got I to gotta hear this. Like a ham radio? Um, all right. We've got Would You Rather, Guess, Guess, Goose, and a draft on the show today. That's right. Guess, Guess, Goose makes its return. Because it does. Let's kick it off. <laughs> would you rather? Ethan from the website, would you rather have to uh, get off than back on the highway at every off ramp or <laughs> stop and untie and retie your shoes every time you pass through a doorway? Well, what if I got slip ons? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm straight up flip flopping for life at this point. Flip flops? No, uh, no, 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 no. You don't get to do that. You have to. Uh, you can't tell me what I get to wear. No, no, I'm, I'm yes, trying to make. We sure. do in this joke. So slip off, slip ons, and flip flops. You have to take them off, and then put them back on. No, you have to tie your shoes, man. 
You got to wear shoes and tie them and untie them. <laughs> okay. I, you don't get to like always, just, So you always have tie shoes. I mean, that'd be like, yes, because otherwise I'm going to say, well, there, there are no off ramps on this highway, so I never have to get off. I that haven't was your vo- that was your voice. tied <laughs> shoes or untied shoes in as long as I can remember. I'm sure they came untied once. What are you talking about? You wear Nikes. I wear them every day. I wear yeah, tie shoes. I, for the most part, I don't untie my Do shoes. Do you they untie never... and tie your shoes? If they come untied, yeah. I double, I double knot those suckers. So you're just You double it... knot? Oh, I have to double knot. You're a grown man. Yeah. You're double knotting your shoes? <laughs> yes, I am. Every shoe I have <laughs> worn in my adult <laughs> life is double knotted. Or you still go loop, swoop, No, pull. I do the bunny ears, man. I go two, two loops. No, you do not. Oh, yes, I do. I go two loops. You go bunny ears and double knot. <laughs> yes. Brother. I go bunny ears and double knot. This is surprising to you guys. Yes, yes. This is so on Be- brand for me. Because we are distinguished middle-aged gentlemen. We don't bunny ears hard. And shoelaces. double knot. Look, I, I'll double knot. Uh, occasionally they make shoes that have like a certain type of shoelace that comes undone very easily on a single knot. And I'll double knot that. Hold on. Hold on. Let me check my shoes. Hold on. No. Owl is in our chat. Single knot. Owl's in our chat saying, I thought everyone double knotted. No. Yes. No. You should. Why not triple knot? <laughs> because a double knot works. If if yeah. a double knot didn't work, I would triple knot. But you can't triple knot. Why you can't triple you... knot a double knot. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's just popping into my head, too. Why don't you buy those? They, they sell those laces that have no- The elastic ones? Yeah, the elastic ones that stretch. Oh, you'd have to put them on. That seems like yeah, too I don't much wanna, of, I don't want to lace too much work. I hate when you buy new shoes and they don't come laced. I hate it. I you hate, hate it, it so huh? much. You need to live in another country. i tell you, we have our next guest, guest goose question that we got to poll people for. Which is how much do you, do you double knot? Do you double knot? As an adult, do you double knot your shoes? Save that for the next one. I think Jason's going I'm, to post I'm it right, he, it he right now. I got to I got to know because I would say double knotters are about the 30 percentile. I think they're going to be 55 percent. You're going majority. Yeah, I am. I I am. No way. There's yeah. no there is no way I cannot accept step this. one. Say something ridiculous. Step two. Yeah. Assume the world is ridiculous with you. Yeah. Josh, I'm with you. Like if I am playing sports, I'm willing to double knot. You never double knot any of the others? No. Like, am I just walking around? No. Because I, I have self-respect. No, I, I, like I said, there are certain laces. They're the thin laces. Yes. And they will come undone. And I will I will tie them again. Okay. I will say, I apologize. My shoe has come untied. I use a shoehorn. Yeah, you, know, and you I, use a shoe mountain. Yeah. This, this, like, it's, the, it's the size of your arm. You have an industrial strength. He, like He has a shoehorn. Like Caterpillar can, makes you it? You can use it standing up. Oh, yeah. This is not the... When I say <laughs> like it's, it's the length of your... Length? When I say yes. it's the length of your <laughs> arm, I do not mean from your elbow. I mean from your shoulder to the... I can just stand up and put my shoe on so easy. That thing yeah. is double so knotted, you're taking, never coming unknotted. You can't take this doorway one because oh, that if is, I'm making you actually put the shoes on, this is, is a nightmare. That is out. I mean, I you'd have to bring your shoehorn with you everywhere. I like I, a like a like a. Do you have like a holster for it? Oh yeah, yeah. that thing would no, just be like hanging a, off my belt. Oh, he the, has yeah, two of them on the back, back, and he pulls them out like Donatello swords. <laughs> I, whoa, whoa, whoa! But, but that would Leonardo. Oh, sorry, Leonardo swords. Goodness. No, my bad. Oh my, my bad. goodness. Yeah. To be fair, I would not need those in this situation where I have to untie and retie. The whole point of the shoehorn, yeah. is I don't untie. I yeah. do not. I, when my shoes come untied, do you want to know what I do? Cry, Genuinely. call somebody, throw it away. I take them off. Thumbtack. I put them on the counter and you tie and them. I tie them. No, you don't. Oh yes, I do, brother. <laughs> I don't. No, you don't. One hundred percent true. <laughs> That's where I tie my shoes. I don't tie them when they're on the feet. It's not a, stim- a, a simple just stop, tie your shoe. It's nah, a whole thing. No way, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> Dude, so I'm getting off the freeway. <laughs> self-respect. <laughs> where has it gone? I do, I'm telling you. Oh, baby. <laughs> As an adult, do you double knot your shoes? Currently 131 votes. It's early. Yeah, that's nothing. 55% that's yes. Nothing. It's nothing. I'm just saying, you, votes you made it. Yeah, but how many of his followers are Jason? <laughs> <laughs> Jason, no, I am. I am a lot of my listener spirit. Do, l- I'm, I'm pulling the deucers. Al, yes, he does. I'm a double nodder. Um, Josh, 
Only if I'm playing sports. So sometimes. And then uh, Matt? Never double knot. Yeah, you're a kid. You can still reach your feet. <laughs> He's still using the... Uh, I think I think adults really need to double knot more than children. Children still need to learn how to tie. So oh, Jay, it's shrinking. Practice. It's down to 52 for you. Okay. But it's still the majority is in the yes. All right. Well, look, I... Uh, this we was- know who's on Twitter right now. It's the double knotters. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we will rise up. I have no problem with the uh, the off ramp one. I'll, I'll just finalize that. that yeah, that'll work. 100%. I mean, I there's there's I might avoid sometimes. some traffic. Exactly. Yeah, I've done it to avoid traffic you before. M- you might find yourself in more traffic. I bet. Yes. If, if you exit the freeway more, like just every time, your waiting goes way up. Oh, f- of course it goes from zero to. How to- does Jason not just wear Crocs every day? I'm shocked. Well, remember I used to wear flip flops every day. Like that was. Why'd I you would- stop? Self respect. <laughs> Oh, Crocs is where we draw the line. I just not I, a big old giant double knot. I realized that I I can wear nice Jordans and I still don't have to tie them if I have an arm length shoe horn. It's it's wonderful, man. I How solved many the problem. Feet is this? Uh, it's, it's I don't know. Four it's feet. A, do we still yeah, have? That's probably. It's probably. Do we still have one here? Three or four feet. Uh, we might. How we many might shoe have horns one in the do you have? How many places do you need them? I've got one. Wherever pick- he puts on shoes. <laughs> one, wherever I put on shoes, I've got one at the Pickleball Palace. Yeah. I got one at home. No, I got two at home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just got, in case. Yes. Back up. <laughs> just in case, yes. Well, one is plastic for travel. Uh, I take this with me on the Does road. Does it fold? No, but if I if how I do you, how do you put this in a suitcase? If I've got the full size luggage, it can go corner to corner. <laughs> it's like the golf bag that gets brought on a yes. plane. Yeah, I, I, I'm bringing golf clubs just so I can sneak my shoehorn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I guess. We'll, do we have one? No, no, no. we didn't have one. Uh, of those. I've had it here before, but I gotta, yeah, I well, gotta order. I mean, Got to order a new 12 Got to raise the ceilings. All right, Peter from the website, would you rather have to audibly mumble absolutely everything you read? So, you know, you're reading a book, you're reading an okay. email, you're yep. reading a text. Would you rather have to um, you, you're reading a there. sign on the freeway. You got to audibly or not be able to ever reread or rewatch anything. I don't see the oh, big no, deal with mumbling. Re-reading? No. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, I don't have to I don't get to read that book again. Now to be fair, I have reread Harry Potter like three times this yeah, series. So I, well, you're you're I don't done get now. to do that. Yeah, I am. The whole idea of book buying is funny. I know it's been brought up a million times before, but the idea you buy a book, you read a book. And you put it on your shelf so you can say it's like basically a testament to the book. Oh, you've it's a read. trophy. It's a trophy. Yeah. It, it graduates. It I mean, graduates really, from a book to a trophy. Every single bookshelf in every house in America should have underneath it, please take any of these books that you want. <laughs> because if you come to my house, I'm I, not rereading the book, so you should take it home with you. You should just I, steal my books. I don't believe for one second when I see a bookshelf that those books have been read. When I go to someone's <laughs> house and I see a That's bookshelf, fair. I go, you've read two of these. And, the, and it's a fully stocked bookshelf. It looks so nice. It's like you haven't. Don't you dare. These are fake trophies. I've thought about Those it. Those books should be hollow. They, they, they don't need. <laughs> yeah. How much cash is it? They do bookshelf? sell those. <laughs> do they? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, mean they sell just show books that you just set up there. That's what I would get. <laughs> and then when you open it up, it's just got <laughs> headphones inside so you can listen to it. Um, I don't. Is mumbling everything you read really a big problem? It's. It will be really annoying for everybody around you. I mean, where do I read? I read, like you said, like I'm, I'm obviously, I, I read the show doc here, so that's maybe your, that could be a problem. Your I'd emails, be, your text messages, yeah. I mean, the internet. When yeah. if you pull out your phone with a text next to someone and you're going, they're going to, huh? What? <laughs> like <laughs> they're going to think that you're trying to browsing read the text Twitter, to them. Jason. Oh, you're man. mumbling it all. Yeah, it would be awful. But well, how how loud? I mean, it doesn't have to be loud, right? Just like, but that's part of the problem. Is when you are around other people and you're mumbling, they think people think you're trying to talk to them, and you're like, "Why are you mumbling?" I will say Speak that I've, up. I will say that I've gotten to the age and the busyness level <laughs> where I mumble anyways. That <laughs> no, the opposite. Where the idea of rewatching something and rereading, like I don't have time for that. I've seen it. I love it. I'll give it an A plus. And every now and then, like I did watch Dune a couple times. That was that was nice. But I would I would be fine 
I think I would be 100% fine never rewatching or rereading anything. I think that would be, in today's culture, a perfectly fine one to accept. That will be my vote because um, I, I don't want to do the mumbling. Uh, I have self-respect. That will that will be torturous. Or I won't ever read anything ever. Maybe that'll be good. Maybe I'll just go out and farm the land or something. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, I, I was curious. I did throw a, uh, my own poll up on Twitter. But, I, you know, does first of all, do you have a bookshelf in your house? Yes. Yes. Okay. Full uh, of books. Deucer's Alley? Yes. Okay. I, everyone's everyone, nodding. Everyone I have one myself. One. And then I four options. Uh, what percentage of the books in your own bookshelf have been read by you? So 0 to 25%, 25 to 50, 50 to 75, 75 to 100%. What percentage? I'm going to say 70% or 0 to 25%. That's Wait, what are you? It's all oh, I'm zero to twenty five percent for sure. I think I'm twenty five to fifty. I mean, to be fair, most of the books on my bookshelf are children's books. Okay, uh, you're twenty five to fifty. Yeah, Mike? I think so. What about you, Deucer's Alley? I'm zero to twenty five. Okay, I a hundred percent for me. A hundred percent of the books in your house. Yeah, like I buy a book, I read See, it. See, you I said stick it on the bookshelf. You said uh, in our Slack, who buys books to not read them? Let me be very clear, just so you understand how that uh, happens. Lots of people. It, they, and they don't buy them to put them on the bookshelf for re for the record. They buy them to read them. They just don't. Or right. they start them and don't finish them. Or they go to the bookstore and they buy like three or four and you're like, these books look great. Then they go home and read one of them. And then they just don't read. Their, and I'm seeing nods yeah, Josh, from everybody except for Mr. 100% over there. The percentage of books I've started and not finished yes. is much higher. <laughs> yes. Okay. Josh, like you ever, uh, you ever see a video game deal and you're like, oh, I'm going to buy that. And then you never play that game. I, this we're not talking plays about video backlogs. games nonstop. You know, <laughs> no, no, but there's. I, I promise, there's still games that he has bought and never played. Very true. It's, so, the, it's the exact same thing because you intended to play it and then you ran out of time. And Falcon, what percentage of books in your house have you read? About five percent. About five percent. The current, uh, the current <laughs> is the leader is the zero to twenty five percent, but it's only at thirty four percent. What makes the most sense to me looking at your poll is it's like the the two leaders. Are either you've read very few of them, or, or you've all read of all of them? Yeah, yeah. the, yeah, the Josh's sense. and the rest of us. All right. Um, so, are you going with the not be able to reread, rewatch, I, Mike? I guess so. I did. I did realize that could become a problem when uh, I, like uh, many people of our generation, I learn how to do things on YouTube. And if you're telling me oh, no. I can't rewatch my, oh, no. my tutorial video, I, oh, that's true. It's Dude, gonna be a problem. No, it's I a have one to. Time, I huh? have to switch. I have you're to mumbling? switch recipes. Like I'm, oh, I've, yeah. been, I've been there cooking yep. a lot. I love. You cooking. better memorize. I it. don't. Yeah, you gotta. <laughs> you gotta memorize it one pass through. I'm a. I'm gonna ruin dinner every night. Oh, so you're switching to mumbling. I have to. Otherwise, I can't cook. I don't. I'm not like. I, I get a recipe and I follow the recipe and I reread that thing about 700 times. I'm in the middle of cooking and I've read it 20 times and I'm like, I don't know what's next. I can't possibly remember. <laughs> well, it looks, it looks like they uh, snuck another would you rather in Griffin from Twitter. Uh, yeah, Griffin might not exist. Would you rather own a lightsaber or a phaser? This was in the doc. This was already in the yeah, it was. No, it oh, is, was. That, is it that was. why you made the sound at the top? It could be subconsciously yeah i didn't make a so this was the choice. griffin does exist would you rather own a lightsaber or a phaser we talked about it at the top we might as well debate it now this but is i have an important question okay but just to clarify. i was i was just gonna say that that on the surface that like for most nerds you're like this isn't even a question it would be lightsaber right yeah for most nerds but once you start actually thinking about it i believe this is a very very difficult choice Here's a question. Is the phaser set to stun? You can't. That's exactly part of it. Is oh. I I can kill with my phaser, but I can also just knock people out. There's this is not a... Beep, beep, beep. This, this is not... Excuse I was, me. Get out of the way. Because of our conversation earlier, I was thinking of a laser gun. or But this is a this, this is is Star, Star Trek, Trek yes. phaser. Oh, okay. Yes. With the solid beam. Dude... I could. <laughs> was that the phaser? The, no, I just the, made it up. The setting to stun is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could. What if I'm trying to take a nap? I could guilt free. Wait, you just stun oh, anyone. There's no anything. Animals like, oh, check this out. Boom, <laughs> stun. You're fine. You're fine. But I had fun. I'm just going out target practicing. I mean, that's pretty cool. It's if like Jason a tranquilizer gun in a forest <laughs> and he's set. Um, <laughs> I mean, 
let, let me ask you this is that what's the recovery Sleep. process on a on a stun from the phasers i don't think oh, i've you, read the medical journals on you this. wake up well rested oh yeah oh, you, you feel, do yeah, yeah. You feel just no fine. do you have a mark on your skin nope no no little singe no nope. no evidence of where they face like you don't even no, know where just, you, if you got phased it, from the back you have no idea it just what if you take it in the eye system Ooh, could you have, get phaser you could in the a, eye? Could have a retinal problem. So yeah, they just—I mean, there are limitations. So obviously. be careful. But like, like, can you can you stun yourself, or is that allowed? Like uh, to go to sleep at night? Yeah. See, You're this like, is why there has to be some uh, side effect. Like, <laughs> like I'm real. Like, I just, those, there's nights you just can't fall asleep. Yeah. Unisom or <laughs> no? I'm going phaser. stun gun. Phaser. <laughs> uh, so the lightsaber would be amazing to show off. No question. And I, the problem is, is the lightsaber, what it can defend against, does, is does not exist. Laser blasts. So a, a standard uh, military right. grade weapon probably obliterates me. Also, not to mention I will decapitate myself. That I was going to well, over under one and a half days before you have one arm remaining. Me or somebody that wanted to borrow it to try it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it's certainly dangerous. It's certainly dangerous. You can have a Give lot me of that fun, sound but- again. I, dude, I. Can- Something like nice, that. Nice, yeah. Um, there's gonna nice. be a lot of problems with, with a lightsaber? the lightsaber. Yes, yes. You're, you're. I feel like my house will be in. <laughs> there's it, just burn marks. It'll everywhere. be a rubble by the end. Just I, accidentally. Is there a? Um, I don't think it'll be. Is there an a safety accident. on a lightsaber? Yeah, we'll, we'll say there is. Yeah, I, I. I don't think it's an accident. I think if I had a lightsaber, I would have to put it through things. I just think it'd be too cool. I'd be like, I'm gonna like I'm gonna your own decorate, safe. I'm gonna decorate. <laughs> I would like decorate my doors with cool cut lines. Be like, this door has like it's a zebra, and <laughs> it's like check this out. I so draw like my a, name in the wall. You're like a space Zorro. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I would wreck things if I had a lightsaber. So I'm. I think I'm going. I think lightsaber. the phaser's more practical. I'm taking yeah, the phaser. I am too. All right. Let's take a break, and then it's guess, guess, goose. Hey, Spitwads, you ever walk in a room and you're like, oh, man, so-and-so's looking good. Well, you know what? The next time you walk into that big event, they're going to be saying you're looking good because you're going to be walking into that event with an Indochino custom form fit and suit on. No big boxy suit, no awful looking off the rack, even more expensive big suit with sleeves that don't fit your arm to perfection and shoulders that look like you're Charles Barkley. No, sir. We're talking about a really, truly nice custom suit. I have two of them. I'm Look, I'm not a perfectly shaped man. Uh, I have a unique shape, but my suit fits me. It's tailored to me. And you and don't I've, wear them both at the same time. You, I, you, I don't usually. You alternate. I, I alternate. One for this event, the other for that. And I've done it both ways as far as the, the process. You can customize every piece. You can go into one of their showrooms, have someone do it for you. It's awesome. You can also take the measurements easily at home yourself. I've done it literally both of my suits one way for each. You can design your suit of your dreams and fine tune every detail, including lapels, linings, monograms, pocket flaps, anything you want. It is bespoke without the premium price tag. Suits starting at just $4.99 and fitted shirts for $89. Look your best this wedding season at the table or on the dance floor when you wear Indochino. Go to Indochino.com today and use the code BALLERS to get 10% off any purchase of three ninety nine or more. That's I N D O C H I N O dot com. Promo code Ballers. What time is it? Game time. Well, I, by the way, would your answer have stayed the same if it was just a laser gun? Like no. the one that does the pew pew pew. Well, it, my, mine would have stayed. But it only the, kills. Mine would have stayed the same because I took lightsaber. I don't oh. think there's any practical use to having a laser gun that kills. That kills. Yeah. Like I'm not looking to do murder, so <laughs> I think I'm okay. And should you do murder, right? They know who it is. Like, but they can't catch you. It's man. one you're, of you're, one. You're blasting them with a laser gun. <laughs> um, you're doing lots of murder. Now, before right. we get into all the. The polls uh, for this segment and and have our guests. I- I'm well over 2,500 votes here, and 51 percent of us double not. I what percentage of Americans totally unrelated are overweight? 51 <laughs> percent 
of all Americans are us. Uh, we got to check the rest of the office here. All right. Um, look, it's time for Guess Guess Goose. And I'm going to ask Al to remind our listenership of how this game works because we had a lot of fun last time. Sure. Yeah, we're going to throw a, a poll question out there. We have the correct answer, the percentage of people that said they have, have done a certain thing. Uh, somebody will be on the clock and guess that percentage. Yeah. That person, if they are within 5% in either direction, they get two points. Meanwhile, the other two will be writing down higher or lower. And if they are correct, they get one point. All right. All right. I got obliterated and, in this game last uh, time. Also, yeah, we'll, we'll recap real quick. We had Mike with six points. Jason job, with five points. Duck. Andy with two points, which makes him the goose. the goose. Yeah. And we decided it'd be fun to have a little accessory to go along oh. with this segment. <laughs> oh, how nice. So, so you get to wear the goose of shame? Yes. Is that a hat? This is, well, this is wonderful. It is a, it is a oh, hat. Or it's a mask. It's a hat. Okay. So uh, if you go to the YouTube, <laughs> uh, you can see Andy is now becoming the goose. This is good. All right. All right. Here we go. I'm going to. So do I award this to the next winner at the end of this show or does it wait till the next episode? Uh, you can hand it to them and the next time they will get to wear it. All right. What percentage of people currently have a crush on people that they work oh. with? And this question is for Andy. Yes. Yeah, so you I have devils. to set the line. Uh, percentage of people that currently have a crush on people they work with. A lot of companies have a lot of employees. The odds there uh, pretty decent. I'm going to say. I think I'm gonna go twenty two percent. Ooh, twenty two. I'm gonna go twenty two percent. So you guys have to decide higher or lower. Um, you know, so far, one since I'm wearing this hat, obviously I do not know the public very well <laughs> as I look ridiculous. All right. I've got my did you write down your I didn't write down my percentage. I I know you're higher or lower. I I am definitely higher. Ooh, I am lower. You're lower. All right, so we have a split, and I'm at 22%. What? So oh, I'm going way higher. Okay. You were close. It was 29%, <gasps> so not quite close enough. So Mike gets one. So Mike one, gets a single point there, Andy and, I and lose. you guys get nothing. I was not right on way higher, but <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I got my that point. 5% is tough. <laughs> All right. Let's see if it's tough for Mike. All right, Mike, go ahead. Uh, My question is, what percentage of people routinely mix fountain drinks together? I imagine there is, the Venn diagram of double knotters and mixing <laughs> fountain drinks is very overlapped. Okay, uh, there, I had a I had a time that I did that both the double knots and the <laughs> yes, mixing drinks, and yes. I was eleven. The a hard part here, just like a, a sneaky thing for me, is like our. People thinking of older folk, thinking of like an Arnold Palmer is mixing fountain drinks. No, 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 no. Because, I mean, it sort of is. You're getting lemonade out of the fountain drink. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, I don't think it's a ton. I'm going to set the line at routinely. I'm going down to 12%. Wow. Uh, I So I was, I was going to go low. I was going to go very low, but you went low, so that's tough. Do I go? All right. Twelve uh, percent routinely mix fountain drinks together. I'm trying to think when I do mix something together. Yeah, what? If, I don't even know what people do other than the I put every soda in that's, my cup. That's man. what my youngest does. Every I, soda. You know what? I'm all right. I, I've got mine locked in. Are you all locked right, in? I'm locked in. I'm going to say higher. I am as well. I think it's going to be twenty percent. That was the number I would have yeah, guessed is 20 Which is close. but If you guys were on the clock, you would have gotten two points for that because you would be within five. The correct answer was 24%. Oh, so there go. Andy wow. and Jason, each with a 24%? point there. What are people mixing? I'll mix, uh, a, I'll, mix a, like a, I'll mix a Powerade with like a Sprite. I'll do that. Okay. I'll get down with that. I mean, I love Sprite and lemonade. That's there you a go. Jason Moore. I guess All right. it is. <laughs> All right, Jason, your turn. So okay. wait, it's one, oh, one, crap. one? It's one one yeah. one. We are even after the first two questions. Who are these people? Big All improvement. Right. Here is mine. What percentage of people file their annual taxes <laughs> at the last minute within a day or two of the deadline? <laughs> I'm so gonna guess the hold Venn on. diagram. Hold on. <laughs> are you laughing because of the response you got on our company channel on what or do you double knot your shoes? No. Did you see the very first response? 
Oh, yeah, the I'm not five years old. I'm not five years <laughs> old was the first response. No, but I'm, go, go ahead. I'm laughing of just what this is. This will be an interesting answer. Yeah, percentage okay. of people that file them at the last minute within a day or two of the deadline. Because I have the number and, in my head. Andy files on Jan 1. <laughs> there are type <laughs> A's out there. Jan um, second, did I did I overshoot? <laughs> I think I think it's a little early, but by a week, yeah, it's, <laughs> maybe it's, it's tough because as soon as uh, do, the tax do, person's yeah. ready for me, what percentage of people file late? <laughs> you yeah, know? it's like I'm not within a day or two. Uh, I'm a month or two late. Okay, so I think I'm trying to think of this in terms of a ten percent range, right? Yeah, I think it's gonna be near sixty five percent. I'm gonna take sixty two okay. percent. That's a my good, that's a good guess. It is a good guess. Um that makes it tough. I, I have my answer. Mike, do you have yours locked? Uh the higher or lower? I think Jason so. went sixty two. Yeah. I I think Mike so. refuses to write it down. I'm, he is I mean Well, we're supposed to be like locking so that we don't give each other an advantage. Oh that's the, okay. You know, I've written it down. All right. I went with lower. I went with higher. All right, baby. <laughs> give me the, I, I, my give me initial two points. My out. initial guess was fifty percent. You are nowhere near getting two points. Oh, the correct man. answer was seventeen percent. Oh, liars! What? What? So I got a point. What? Andy gets a point there. Seventeen percent. No. What? Within that's a shocking. day or two of the deadline? Yes. Yeah, that's you file tight. your taxes on April fifteenth. Like that's what you do. It's called tax day. <laughs> well, we know where you guys file your taxes. <laughs> wow, that blows what? my mind i mean i think, I did, I think I double knotters just took the majority of our company as well i did yeah because dude the, i am out of here <laughs> you're not into that i don't want to live on this planet okay. anymore so the so the goose is winning right now that is correct Two that's to good one. news because right. this is looks pretty dumb well you're back uh, up what percentage of people have used a bidet I will say it, that number has to have skyrocketed since the launch of this podcast. Yeah, and it should be 100%. The bidet bros are spreading awareness. I, I need to be within that 10% range. I'm going to go with 17%. I'm going Liars. With, I'm going with 11% of people. I'm going with oh, 11% going of people have used the bidet. That's I don't a, think the bidet. That's a good line. I don't think the broadening of the bidet pool, so to speak, has happened yet. That's, I don't think we're ready to wash them booties. <laughs> We, we need to, yeah. Wash, no, I look. Wash should, your booty. Should be a hundred percent. All three of us. Uh, they should be built into here. homes. Yeah, they yeah. should. They should be default. That should. You should just wash your butt. That's what you should do. Yeah. Con yeah. Construction. Team, wash your butt. Construction companies. You need to be a part of this. As in, we charge people more. Like when you, when you're if you're building a you home, can't buy a toilet that just, doesn't have just, one built just in. Just a full regulation. Full regulation. Governmental regulation. There are no toilets anymore. Just bidets. Um, eleven percent. I'm going. I'm gonna go lower, and I'm going higher just because that is such a low number. It is a low number. I was a little scared of it. All right, Jason's getting the point here. All right, dang it! I uh, there it is. Twenty one percent was the correct. Come answer. on, okay, man. What? So I tie I'm missing Andy. these by like freaking nothing. Yeah, but 10%. missing. But missing. We need uh, to open that window. <laughs> all right. So Andy and I are. We do. Let's 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 raise it. Still not enough people. Um, and and listen, you're listening to this right now. If you have not used a bidet, wash your butt. Two things: one, you're disgusting, but <laughs> but two, wash your butt. Yeah. All right, Mike, you're up. What percentage of people hate coconuts? Mm. Oh, that's such a good question. It's a great question. I love the way it's worded. It's just it's just straight up like I, this is objective. I, I dislike coconut, but I don't know if I hate it. I hate coconut. Okay. I don't want it anywhere flavoring any it, anytime coconut. you don't like the flavor or you don't like just chewing coconut the flavor i can't take the texture Co i know coconut exactly what my number like would be eating, if i were you coconut tastes like you're eating suntan lotion so, but the people Sunscreen. that like coconut say suntan lotion smells like a delicious coconut that's how that works uh coconut does smell fantastic i agree coconut yeah, shampoo sign coconut me up smells yeah. like the beach yeah. mike what is your number Hate coconut. Hate is because for is, you it's a hundred percent. Hate is a very strong word. <laughs> one of one. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put my line at thirty two percent. Okay. Okay. I knew what I would guess if I were you. All so right. I just wrote that down, so it'll be obvious. Which all right, I, I'm going higher. I am as well. I I would have gone right at fifty percent. Yep. 
Mike was extremely close to three points on this one, which is what you get if you guess the exact right answer, but it was 31%. Oh, baby! So he does get two points, and you guys get nothing. Well, that didn't work out so We're great. back, baby! So now we're all tied. We're back! Now no, Mike's in the lead, I think. No, he's got... Yeah, Mike has three. You both oh. have two. What a guess. So right. I, we got one left got to one try to guess. get this thing off my head. Okay. What happens if there's two geese at the end? Is there then, a goose off? No, no, no. You you retain you retain your title. <laughs> Ty goes to the loser is? <laughs> yeah, the previous Ty, loser? Absolutely. You got it. We'll, we'll I, do a goose off. We'll I'll give okay. you one more and the, yes. the person that's closest but to the correct answer. But just between me and him. Yeah. yeah. And we just guess the number. All yeah, right. you yes. each guess a percentage. All okay. right. Well, we'll see now, if it, now we I end up there. want to tie. Yeah. Well, here we go. Okay, my last question here. What percentage of people had their mouths washed out as children? I hadn't read that. Oh, the old if you say a bad word, wash your mouth out with soap. Wow. This one's tough because if you had asked this question 20 years ago, the number's different. Yes, 100%. For sure. it's, yeah. it's What's the down. age range of people you're asking? Are you asking yeah. us? Because our percentage would be higher. If you ask children, I hope that's like a, it's near zero. Yeah, it, it's going down. I know well, let me Al ask, Borland's one of them. Let me ask you this. <laughs> Who is and it did no a, good based on what I know of him. There are six people in this studio right now. Yeah. Did you ever have no, your no, mouth? No, 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 no. You don't. Yeah, you get, can't. You, you can't don't start get to pull people. the groom. You <laughs> okay, fool. all right. We'll do that after. Okay. Yeah, I'll, we I'll can do it after. I, I wasn't trying to cheat here. I was genuinely <laughs> curious. Oh yeah. You? Yeah. <laughs> I would never. I'm an um, honest ape. Um. All right. So, what percentage of people had their mouth washed out as children? I'm going to go with twenty four percent. Oh, that's yeah. That's so good. Okay, I've got my answer. 24% is good. Uh, I will lock mine in as well just to not gamify. I like that. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going under. I'm going higher. Okay. All right, big moment. The correct answer was 33%. <gasps> I almost went 30%. Okay, so Mike. Back-to-back back champion, baby. And we have to have a goose this off. This isn't about a champion, Mike. This Man is about of the people. A, this is about a goose. All right, so All right. Andy and I have a goose off. All right, you give us the question. We'll guess the exact numbers. <laughs> you guys oh. write down your percentage. we got to write it down. Yep. yep. And then... Oh, I want to hand you yeah, this we'll goose just go so bad. <laughs> we'll just go straight closest to the correct yes, answer. It doesn't absolutely. matter about going over. Yes. All right. What percentage of people have flown in a helicopter? <sighs> oh, boy. Wow. Oh, boy. That's I'm, a tough I've one. I've got mine. I, I wrote mine All down. Right. I'm gonna All right. All right. I have my number written down. Jason is Jason's frozen. Jason's really, in fear. really thinking about this one. <laughs> I'm trying to think what Andy would guess and try to be on the right side of him. <laughs> no, you just got to be closest. <laughs> I know, which means I'm on the. <sighs> you should think of the amount of people that have ridden in a helicopter. That's what you should think of. Okay. Because there's no going going over makes no difference. It's just closest. Yeah, All closest right. means I just want to be on the correct side of you. All right, I've got fifteen percent. Six percent. I went eight. The correct answer. Oh, please give him. Let me give him the goose. Is exactly fifteen percent. Yeah! <laughs> what a loser! <laughs> oh, you goose! What a guess! I would have got three points for this. Oh, oh my man. goodness! Fifteen percent, my butt. Yeah, well, my goosey butt. It, I, okay, now I've never been on a helicopter. I have not either. Now right. going back, this is mine how, for next time. How That's many right. of the six of us in here had your mouths washed out in your life? I did. One, uh, two, three, four, five. I think probably once. Okay, so yeah. that's a hundred percent for this. Yeah, thing. I think yeah, probably I think, one time. One, but it was like, it was weak. Like I think they wanted to do the big time, like oh, we're gonna wash your mouth out with soap, and then. It was just like a little bit of soap. M mine was, was a friend's parent. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. What did you say? That, <laughs> I was like, because my, my parents would never, bar have, soap or would like never a... have done this. Yeah. yeah, it was a bar soap. Oh, no. And it was like, what are you talking? You you can't do this, but I'm a kid, so I just was like. You don't spank your yes, friend's yeah. kids, yes, man. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. Wow. Did your parents have words for those parents? Oh, I don't think I ever told him. I didn't want to go home and be like, <laughs> I said I this said bad, bad word. words. Yeah. That's incredible. They, yeah. Incredible. Oh, that is, that is a very yeah. bad position to be in as a child. Yeah. yeah. Go, go tell your parents you have to admit that you did something wrong, but you're trying to get them to defend you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you can't. You got to keep quiet. That's impossible. That's funny. All right. Moving on to our draft. Congrats, Mike. 
Jason for surviving and uh, great. I get to wear that hat again. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Spitwads, I want to talk to you about one of my favorite apps as a sports fan. We're talking about Prize Picks. What is Prize Picks? It's America's number one fantasy sports app with more than 5 million members. It is the most fun and exciting way to get in on the action when you watch your favorite sports and your favorite players. You just pick more or less on two or more player stats like I did tonight with the NBA games. Luka Doncic, I got him more than 31 points, and Jason Tatum in the playoff game, more than 27 and a half points. It's a fun way to test your skills this playoff basketball season. It's a simple way to get in on the action. And like I said, it's very, the, the way the game plays, the way the app works, it's very simple. You just pick more or less on their projected stats, submit the lineup, and have a little more fun this playoff season. Like I said, you join 5 million members uh, that are playing and downloading this app. We see a lot of these apps. This one is quality. It makes it's sense. Good. It makes, it's just a fun way to make the playoffs more exciting download the app today and use the code spitballers for a first deposit match up to 100 dollars. download the app today and use the code spitballers for a first deposit match up to 100 dollars. the spitballers draft i need to pull the room again because you did the <laughs> all the uh, polls really quickly because 15% for the helicopter. Raise your hand in this room, and I'll, I'll relay if you've ridden in a helicopter. One Just out of six. Well, the Falcon. That's pretty perfect. <laughs> One out of six in here. I have not. I thought you would have, Mike. No, that's terrifying. Yeah. yeah. So 16%. Yeah, that, that works. All right. Today we are drafting the most <laughs> fun thing to be carrying when you enter a room full of people you don't know. So... I mean, when I was going through the exercise here, I had no idea where you guys were going to go. It was actually hard. It was harder than I thought. Like, I'm just picturing there's a big room, there's a bunch of people I don't know, and I'm walking straight through the door and I'm holding something. Yeah. And that, and then they have a look on their face. Sure. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever it means to you. So who? That's that's kind of where I was going to go. As I'm trying to play this as just straight as possible. Like I just walked through unexplained i have an object that people are like huh yes yes no that's how i did okay, it so okay. um what's what's the 101 of this yeah incredible what, draft? what a great draft to have the first pick i feel like there is a 101 i have my i have my 101 and it i'm gonna go with a life-size cutout of myself okay <laughs> okay that, that was not my 101 that's that wasn't your 101 that wasn't no uh -uh. a life-size cutout of mike wasn't your 101 yeah, no it wasn't but imagine a stranger walking by, and they just have a full cutout. You're like, wait a minute. Yeah, no, that's no, uh, you're the same person. You're the same. That's funny. That's funny. I like it. Okay, all right. That would be weird to see that. To Are you wearing the that. same clothes that you have on? Yes, of course. Oh, yeah. You have right. to. Yeah, right. I just got this printed of me an hour ago. Um, okay, so and the then you set it up and leave. <laughs> the 101 for me was clear and obvious because. I'm going to be so no mad one, if your one on one's the same as mine. No one in the world does not like this. Oh. And I'm carrying a puppy into this room. If I walk into a room full of strange, if I, I mean, that's you what want you, to be liked by these people. Absolutely. Oh, that's want, not I, the direction I went. I want to, <laughs> <laughs> I want to walk in and, uh, you know, if I'm carrying a puppy, I, I want strangers around I, me. I want to yeah, come and see my puppy. The, the, I went the actual dictionary opposite <laughs> of that. Going anywhere with a puppy, I look, I get it. You want your dogs to socialize and you want them to get some exercise. But it is about the most look at me thing that you can possibly have. Yeah, but I didn't even know they were going to be here, Mike. I just, oh, whoa. Oh. <laughs> well, look at this. You're I'm probably gonna... bringing the puppy to give it away because that's what you do with your dogs. Well, <laughs> if it can't be potty trained, yeah. That's right. um, oh, but it could be potty trained. Not by. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in like a week. All right. Puppy. So I, I did not go that direction. I really wanted to kind of uh, a different reaction from this group of strangers. Okay. I was thinking of maybe uh, fun and awkward could be corollary here. Hmm. So the opposite of a puppy is obviously a human head. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. What All in right. The world? Right to the point. <laughs> this is, I mean, you, our lists are very look, different. Look, it's, they're very different. To me, it's the mental picture of trying to play that off, man. 
just oh oh uh so hi it's me so, uh, so just just to just to recap, yeah, yeah, yeah. the most fun thing yeah. to be carrying yeah. when you enter a room. Mm-hmm. This is super fun. Yeah. I love when I'm carrying a severed head. Yeah, human head. Oh, so fun. Human so head. So fun. It's, that's big fun. Oh, that's, that's big, big fun. fun. Yeah, that's, no, that'd be fun. Okay. Um, so I'll go human head. And I'm following it up with <laughs> in alligator. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That'd be a good old time. It, what? I've got an alligator under my arm. An alligator would be that's super fun. That's, that's super fun. Mike. Oh it my would be, gosh, it'd be interesting. My if list. Mike's one of the strangers. He's pretty happy I walked in that room. Yeah. I w- what? <laughs> I'm not. Ha- no, nobody's happy you're walking in with a live alligator. If a man's holding an alligator, they got control of it. I promise. It's like you, a nature show. I promise you, a man walks in this room right now with an alligator in his hand. You aren't happy if the mouth i'm is, happy if i don't recognize him and i don't know him if the mouth is taped or or bound is oh yeah that thing can't do anything yeah to it's you. taped if if his if his mouth is taped and bound i am standing and i am ready to run I, yeah well you, you know what i am a coward what are you doing with the human head are you running <laughs> yeah. there too? wait are you I holding wouldn't... both of these things no one at oh, a time okay all right. all right okay well my list was so super different all right here From comes the kitty psychopath <laughs> over here. I do have a, a box. Big I do have a box of kittens on my on my list, but uh, I've already got the puppy. Um, well, you were di- we're different. Yes, we are. Uh, wow. Well, the most fun thing to be carrying when I enter a room f- full of people I don't know, I'm going for fun. And let's bring these strangers together. I'm carrying Twister. The board game. Oh my god! Yeah, let's break out. <laughs> yeah, that's, let's let's break out of. That's what people are gonna think. Oh yeah, baby. Hey, here's this really cool stranger, With adult Twister. grown man who's like, hey everyone. Well, see, since we're here, let's play a game of Twister. He can't, he can't tie his shoes, yeah. but he wants to get down on the mat. <laughs> it's been a minute since I've played Twister. Yeah. Uh, Me too, brother. That's the first true. spin is is right hand blue, and he, yeah. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, yeah. what, down there. Oh, it's way better. The he, first... play, he plays Twister on the countertop. <laughs> <laughs> the, first, <laughs> the first spin better be a foot. He puts that's... it on the kitchen table. Oh man! All, All right, right. Uh, Mike. Mike, you. All right. I think our lists are <laughs> so different. So different. I I can't even fathom. Oh it. Yeah. man. <laughs> All right, Mike, you're back up. You have a life size cut out of yourself so far, but yep. what else do you got? Uh, so for my second pick, I'm going to bring a gigantic trophy into the room. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was the finish. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You said that and we were all just waiting for like okay, but like what's the trophy? Wait, that was it. What's, no, it's just, what is it's just, just a trophy? It doesn't have to be oh, anything in particular. It's just a large trophy. It's just got, look this at- this draft is cracking me up because so far, Mike has brought a picture of himself yeah. and a trophy showing he's the winner of something. Yes, Jason has a puppy and <laughs> Twister, and I've got an alligator and a human head. Well, we are getting different reactions. I Mike is trying to impress these people. We have different versions of fun. We should <laughs> post the list and see if people can guess what the, the draft was. Yeah, oh they, my won't, they will not. They will not. I just think it would be fun. Okay. Well, you got another pick. Let's see what I'll, else I do. I'm afraid of it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with whatever, man. I'm going to take a full suit of armor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, man. If a man just walks in the room in a full suit of armor, I'm wondering what's going on yeah but now we can't tell that it's you on that poster that you're carrying <laughs> it's one thing at a time jason okay. we've been over the rules or oh, that's funny or you could be in the armor on the on twister on, no, <laughs> i'm saying on the poster you're carrying it i was thinking if we change this to you walking in with all four items it would explain the human head better that i had an alligator yeah i would have okay. i would have crafted a more cohesive I, yeah i here. saved yeah. the head yeah but the alligator ate the, ate the body yeah. um all right full suit of armor I think that's funny. Uh, Jason, you have a puppy and Twister. Oh, my goodness. Uh, well, I... Alligator eats the puppy, by the way. Look, I'm... Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. That alligator's mouth better be taped. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> All right. Well, depends again... If, depends if you're in again, there. Again, my list is full of happiness and joy, you weirdos. I'm bringing... I'm, I'm walking in with donuts. I got a bunch of donuts. Jason's really trying to befriend these people. I'm yeah. having a good time. This is the most fun thing to enter a room full of people. If I'm See, walking into a room, is, is, I don't know, and I got a bunch of donuts, heck yeah, man, it's a party. Here's where the, the, the diversion went. 
you're thinking of what would be fun for them. Yeah. I'm thinking of what's fun for me yeah. reacting to them. I am yeah, on Andy's You side. went with a human. <laughs> yeah, I want to see what they do. It's fun for you. It's fun for me to see how they react. Where did you, just for the story, I'm not, where did you where did you acquire the human head? I would never Graveyard. tell you. I would never tell okay, you. Okay, great. He dug it up. Yeah. Okay. You took donuts. I appreciate you. If I'm one of the strangers, I appreciate you the most. Yeah. Yeah. It's a fun thing Which to be is carrying why in when you- I have a different item here. Okay. I think I think it's more interesting and fun than my first two. Maybe it fits the bill for you. All right. Fits a lot of bills, actually. It's the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm taking it into the room. Now, like one that looks like the real one? The or real you're one. saying it is the it's real the one? It's the real one, yeah. You full Nick Caged? Yeah, I got it. I, I actually do own it. <laughs> I feel- and, and I brought it in the room, and it's going to be really fun for people to check out. I feel like this draft is insane. Like, I, I should have brought the Infinity Gauntlet. Like, look at how cool this is. It, no, it's the real one. No, everyone knows that that's not real. It, we didn't say that. It's 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 stuff you have at your house. Okay. It's whatever you want. Hey, you got another pick of anything you want. I, I'll tell you, you pull a room of people. And somebody walks in with the Declaration of Independence, and somebody walks in with the game of Twister. They're coming over to me. Look, we're gonna throw this poll out. We're gonna find out what people yeah. think is fun. So I have to pick one more. I guess so. Uh, well, I'm look. I'll take a little bit of a Jason direction in this one. You've persuaded me because I have some more offensive items <laughs> on this list. Okay, that I won't go with. I think you should go with them. But, but I'm going with. Don't ruin your draft, man. Don't ruin your don't don't let this guy's ridiculousness. Who wants a room full of strangers right. talking to you? All right, I'm bringing a noose. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh my goodness. I Go mean, change it, the it, pick. It, you know it wasn't it wasn't on my list. Uh, I I had a better one. So, I was gonna bring an oversized sub sandwich, so, but I'm bringing the noose. Yeah, that would have been awesome. That's a fun time. So you are just, your the your, look on their face is what's fun yeah, to me. Your your Fun walking into yes. a room is everyone thinks you are a psychotic murderer. I seem to have gone that direction. <laughs> and to me, the way, fun. the way I put myself into it was like, I guess I went with like the most awkward, surprising like thing they would see. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm bringing in champagne and wine flutes. We're going to have a good party. We got games. We got food. After or before we the news. We got a puppy. <laughs> well, we're, not, we're in different rooms, brother. Yeah, we are. Um, I'm, walking into a, uh, I'm walking into a fun time, a party. Um, this, this is what I want in my hands if I'm walking into a room full of people I don't know. I mean, we each want different things. I will own that room. I'll tell you that right now. Mike, you're, you're a... Your room will be very silent. You, yeah, of the lambs. Uh, Mike, you have <laughs> you have the final pick. Uh, so far, you're a suit of armor, a giant trophy, a cut out of yourself, and uh, obviously this last pick. We're going to go with a folder labeled Top Secret. See, that's oh, great. That's, that's, I like that. That one's fun. That one it. is fun. How is that any less fun than the Declaration <laughs> of Independence? I wouldn't believe that if, the Declaration because, of Independence is real. If someone walked in with the Declaration of Independence... I would have a certificate of authenticity. <laughs> I, there's no way I could ever believe it. Under any circumstance, I couldn't believe that that yeah. is the real Declaration. But so, you know what might be in my folder? In, uh, the Declaration <laughs> of Independence. <laughs> Absolutely, because that's top secret I, info. I am so afraid to read... <laughs> the re rest of your The list. rest of the list that I didn't have and I didn't bring up. Okay. Are you well, ready for it? Yeah, wait, we're done, right? The draft We're done. Yeah, okay, the, yeah, let's the hear the rest first. of this list. A giant bloody knife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. A whole bunch of sausage. Okay. Like links. I figured links oh, uh, yeah. thrown yeah. over <laughs> your shoulder. Yeah. Well, and, and you go, you <laughs> presume that it was human sausage then. <laughs> Probably. Yes. Uh, Sweeney Todd. A whip and an axe. This is a different draft. You a, bucket, prepared, a bucket of fish. You prepared for a horror And draft. a leash leading an invisible dog. Okay. okay. All right. Would you have been okay with that one? Yeah, it's a little. What, which one were you going to draw? Oh, you, the big sub I was going to take sandwich. the oversized sub sandwich, like a, like a nice, because then they could eat it. Yeah, I have I have a ton of food. Bagels, pizza, cookies, box kits. This is not the most baby, food you could bring into a cozy room. Cozy blankets and uh, a bag full of footballs. That's just oh, okay. that's just a fun time. Uh, I had uh, a live turkey. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, you went alligator. Yeah, uh, diapers. And, <laughs> I love it. And a bag of spaghetti. 
a bag of yeah, man. spaghetti. See, Mike was like yes. the bridge between me and you. Yes, yes. We, <laughs> Mike, we went. Mike, we went. You like, wanted to shock him. You wanted to shock yes. him. Hot, warm, cold. I'm, yeah. I'm, like I'm. I just. I imagine myself walking through the room, yep. but but also then I go right into a door, and there is no explanation for what just happened. Well. What did we oh, learn today? Yeah, I, I think we know what we learned today. That Andy's a psychopath. Well, that no, that is that's one. The rest of it, no, the world is full of grown children double yeah. nodding, double nodding their shoes. What I really did learn today was that just laser get, guns just get don't, Velcro. Laser, get Velcro. Laser guns don't have sound. <laughs> I would love Velcro. If Nike's making some you, they hot, do, you are. Yeah, they do. You can buy those. I'm size 13. It's hard no, to find you Velcro can get them. shoes. I'll, find I, I'll buy you one. <laughs> Jordans. I need medication. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.